two, three, four. Brian Joe's try and show. Yeah, we're trying to show you what we know. We know some things and we're gonna sing them. Brian and Joe, now Brian and Joe. It's Brian Joe's try and show. What's up, Hello. Here? Welcome everyone to the inaugural episode of Brian and Joe's Try and Show. That's right, one for one, baby. We've done it already. Right in high. So, today on this show, we are trying to show you all about everything that we know. And Jonah, I don't want to seem it's, like I'm it's bragging. A vast we are fonts of knowledge. So we need some help from you, and that is, we need to know what we need to tell you about what we know. And you'll do that by requesting specific little tidbits of songs, delicious mwah, morsels of music, little pieces of knowledge that we can impart on you, the audience, tonight. And the way you're gonna do that is by requesting things in the chat room. Now, obviously the chat room will be mostly filled with people commenting about my hair, because that's usually what people comment uh, on, on YouTube about me. But if you want to request something, all you need to do is write asterisk, 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 as many as you want, and then we'll just look at it because it's gonna help us figure out what's the request and what isn't. So just, for example, write star, 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 please sing a song about sweater fires. And then we won't sing about that because that's a terrible tragedy. It's how all of my uncles died. We're not going to touch it. haircut, by the way? Uh, it was a while ago, Jonah. Don't bring it up. But what we need to know first and foremost is that this episode is brought to you by New Beginnings. So we're going to try to sing all about the new beginnings we have in this world, like trying curry paste for the first time, or pushing a squirrel on a bicycle. This beard is a new beginning for me. It's a new I gave it a shot last year, but then it, it overgrew on me. I chopped it off. That's a new beginning. We're back. So it's technically a second new beginning, isn't it, Jonah? That's okay. I'm not that good at math. So that's this is the first surprise. new beginning of you discovering what a new beginning is. Ah! Like, like Can I turn that around on you? But first things first, let's go ahead and sing a little song that we had from our comments from last mm, week's yes, I love it. announcement episode. This comes from George Tilly. He asks, or she, you could be a she too, make a song called Eastern Time Boys. Well, George, this one's for you. Here it comes. One, two, one, two, three. Eastern Time Boys having a good time on the East Coast. Yeah, we're Eastern Time Boys. East is the beast we don't mean to boast. Brian and Jonah, happy to know ya. Eastern Time Boys just trying to show ya. If you're not East Coast, I guess that's fine. You'll enjoy your life and I'll enjoy mine I don't wanna start any sort of fight With a West Coast singer on this night See, I don't want beef, don't want to get iffy Don't wanna end up like Tupac and Biggie Eastern Time Boys Four hours after GMT Yeah, we're Eastern Time Boys It's 9.04 currently Lots of great things happen on Eastern Time Like that one morning I woke up covered in slime That kind of thing won't happen in Colorado Mountain time ain't worthy of bravado I love Eastern Time, I think it's neat Sometimes I wake up with slime covering my feet There's always slime and it's always green or blue Please somebody can you tell me what to do? Eastern Time Boys Two good friends in Baltimore, yeah, we're Eastern Time Boys. Eastern Time is the best for sure. Eastern Time Boys singing songs on the internet, yeah, we're Eastern Time Boys. We hope you like the songs you get. Thanks, George Tilly, for commenting yesterday week. Yester week. We really? hope you enjoyed the song we sang about Eastern Time. We hope you enjoyed that new beginning. Mm -hmm. It wasn't improvised, though, so I guess we're liars, too. We are 100% um, liars, but we only lie 10% of the time. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at any requests we might be getting in the chat room. Yes. Here's hoping you guys have been doing some requests. Mm -hmm. More comments below. Oh, it says stop lagging. Stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, that's right. That sounds hey, about right. By the right. way, like this is Brian's channel, and I'm like the side guy, and I get it. Like I don't have to be fair with you guys. We're, like we can interact in a way that like you and Brian can't interact. So I'm just gonna go and say it. Dakota Barbour, you're my favorite. Jonah, we can't play favorites here. I, you didn't even hear that. That being said, why don't we go ahead and make a song? Uh, Jack Fogel asks to make a song called. The Underground Mole People Society. All right, Jack. Squish, squish, squish. Squish, squish, squish. Me and my mole friends, we get together every week. Squish, squish, squish. It's not a book club. So book clubs are on fleek. Scratch, scratch, scratch. <laughs> we mostly talk about digging holes. We mostly talk about how we are moles. Mole people, underground society. Every Saturday at 2 p.m. Remember, Diana, you need to bring the sprite for next week. Uh, somebody has to bring the, the cups. Um, I already said that I'd bring cutlery and a nice dessert. It's a, it's a good, um, a crumble. Digging holes can be kind of mundane, I'll admit. I said it. Digging holes is a bit of a pain. I'll say it out front. I love being part of the society, guys, but can we look at the sky with our eyes? Our beady little eyes. I know we're almost blind, but I believe I'm destined for flying school. Don't you think a mole flying a plane is cool? Goodbye, sweet mole. Fly, fly safe, sweet prince. There you go. It's a new beginning for him. Yeah. I wouldn't want a mole person to be flying my plane, though, and I hope that's not bigoted of me to say. Can they fly by sense of smell? Are there are a lot of smells in the atmosphere. There's two, yeah, that's true. Wow. I can say from experience. Like the markers that we drew on the plates with. Seriously, though, you guys don't you guys have smell vision. Smell it from here, no, I, I, I'm. I could get there are some major fumes going on in this, this room. Oh. It's getting wild in mm. here. Things are crazy here at Brian Joe's Try and Show tonight. I'll tell you one thing. What time is it, huh? Oh, Jonah. Uh, yeah, yeah, we don't know what show it is anymore. How, you're screwing everything up, Jonah. Okay. This is well, supposed this is to be a perfect I first episode. I, I use this to block my secret chords that I play. So don't look at these chords. Play. Don't, don't. Hey, turn around. I know you're interested. Cut it out. Do we want to do another song from, from the audience? Yes, please. All right, let's see the more comments below. Mm. Um, hmm. Okay, no one's doing the asterisk thing that we asked so specifically for you guys to do. Um, how about uh, do one on relational things from Drake Sullivan? He asked for that. Do one on relational things. That's very specific. That's incredibly... We might not even know about Vaguely that. specific. Mm, relational things. Relational things. All right. Pigeonholing us here. Let's try it, Drake. Let's try it out for you. Jonah is to the right of me. That's right. And Boston's to the north. There's a very deep fright in me. What's that? That maybe there is something behind me. No, it's just a green screen. Thank God. I could have believed it was a fog, a fog of war, a dangerous being, a dangerous man. Oh no, just 
behind me. Please go away. I need for myself to be relaxed today. When I walk down the street, there's something below. When I walk up the stairs, Something just behind the curtain When I sing my songs I sense something lurking Oh no Maybe this thing is related to my mind Get out of my mind You dangerous being You dangerous man you don't have a plan, you're just torturing me! Please go away! I know that you're lurking just around the next corner. Who is that? Who's that over there? Quest Love. It's just Quest Love. There he is. Hey, Quest Love, how are you doing? Do you want to join us? I didn't know no. you were going to be around there. He's saying he doesn't want to play with us. Thanks for that little beat quest love. That was really sweet. A snare drum, like a he does. <laughs> What's that, that quest one? love? You can only speak through your drums? That one wasn't as good, I don't like it. <coughs> quest love, no, don't say that in this household, alright? Quest love, it, no. Quest love. Is this like the quest love show now? Quest love, look, Jeez, this is our I'll first show, like... please. Alright, go away, dude. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks. Thanks. My mom wants to know if you can come to dinner on Sunday. No, he's gone. All right, yeah. whatever. Quest loves above us. That's fine. <gasps> Jonah! Oh my goodness! Wow. It's 12 minutes into our episode. Do you know what time that means it is? I guess I just gotta... No, Jonah, Jonah. That's after right, the show. Sure. Jonah, please. We gotta oh. keep as many of our viewers as possible. No, it's time for our sponsors. This week's episode is sponsored by... Not no one. We don't not, have any. Not a one. Um, we don't have any sponsors. I'll admit this week. Um, no, sorry. Or any, but I just I wanted to bring this up really quickly because I want um, I want to make this abundantly clear to the audience and to the people as a whole. I will I will sell out to you. I will sell out to you for a very small amount of money. I will do it. I will sell out and I will sing a song about your product or your company or or you maybe if you just send any sort of cash my way because I again I do live at my, uh, with my mom and it's not something I'm proud of saying but I am still uh, trying to hold on to some shreds of dignity but I will throw all of those shreds of dignity away so that I could get paid. Um, and so if you want to sponsor our show, um, just go ahead and contact me. I'm sure you can figure out how to do that. Um, if you are a smart person, you can just send me a tweet or I don't know. Um, you can, if you want to send me chocolates too, sometimes it gets a little bit hard. Just, you know, being here at my mom's house, I, um, just anything to sort of pick up my spirits. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, uh, that's, I think, enough of enough of our sponsor section because again we are not we're not sponsored by anyone no one has no one's paying us thank you <clears throat> thank you thank you everyone thank you very much. um that was a that's a fun part i think it's time we should go back and sing some songs from our comments from last week what do you think Jonah? sounds good mm. okay here was a, here's a comment from last week from someone it says in all caps the beatles uh and it's written by a person named Paul McCharmley. Okay, wait a second. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. I don't Paul. think you can fool us, uh, Paul McCharmley. <laughs> it's a little bit uh, vain of you yeah. to want us to sing a song about your band, McCartney. Wow, he just went and said it. I I'll call you out on this, Paul McCharmley. I'm not gonna sing a song about the Beatles just because we have inspired you throughout your entire musical career. As time travelers. Here's another song request, though, from last week by Laura Grimmer. It says, write a song about the little umbrellas that you sometimes get in cocktails. Hey, hey, 
sitting by the ocean, just taking in the breeze. Oh, got a little thing of cocktail held between my knees. I need some sort of icy thing. I got a bit of a jellyfish sting and it's in my thighs. Didn't realize that you are supposed to pee on the stings. Did that unintentionally. But I'll tell you one thing that's making me feel a lot more free. The little umbrella you get in your drink. Oh, that umbrella so nice and pink. Oh, makes everything go down a lot more smooth. Like that shark bite I got yesterday. <laughs> it seems like I came to the wrong place for vacay. I probably shouldn't have come to a place called Danger Bay. No way. Mm -mm. It seems like I made a bit of an error in my vacation research. And now I'm sitting on this perch, kind of left in the lurch. 